Developing tonight, the city of Jacksonville is making steps toward getting a major university to have a downtown footprint. City Council voted 16 to 1 to give the University of Florida $50 million over three years to bring a satellite campus to Jacksonville. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner sat down with the mayor and Brianna, there are still a lot of unanswered questions about where and when this project would be built. And a big question is why does the mayor support this large investment at this time? Mayor Lenny Curry um, says the graduate coursework will include business, health care, financial technology, engineering, all things that would be great for the job market and employers in the city. Uh, the proposed UF satellite campus is a $200 million facility, and the mayor says they are expecting thousands of students to be enrolled with a couple hundred staff members. The city will put $20 million towards the project in 2023, an additional $15 million in 2024 and in 2024. The money will go towards capital expenses such as studies, planning and design. The project project is expected to cost $200 million in total. The rest of the money will be coming from the state and private donors. Curry says that local universities and college were made aware of this announcement and are supportive. He says the UF campus will be located downtown within two miles of the downtown investment authority. No specific location is set yet. This is a game changer for Jacksonville. I mean, you look at some of the big things that have happened in Jacksonville over the years. Just a couple of big examples. Mayo. When Mayo came here, huge change for our city. When we got the Jaguars, another one. This is, and there's others, but this is one of those moments that it's generational. You don't get these opportunities often, and uh, we're seizing the moment. The mayor says we can expect to see groundbreaking within uh, the next couple years, but there is no exact date to when this project will be finished. I'm live here at City Hall. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News, on your side.